Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings and this is how to set up the Vortex Wireless 2 on Cubase 10.5. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the pads, the faders, the ribbon and the tilt inside Cubase 10.5 so you can control Cubase, the plug-in sims and even external synthesizers. In the Vortex Wireless 2 preset editor, change the first pad to CC Momentary. Set its channel to 1, its CC to 36, its press to 127, and its release to 0. On pad 2, change it to CC momentary, channel 1, CC 37, press 127, and release 0. On pad 3, CC momentary, channel 1, CC 38, 127, 0. On pad 4, change it to CC Momentary, channel 1, CC 39, press 127 and release 0. Click on the arrow at the end to get to the next 5 pads. Now set pad 5 to Program Change. Leave it on channel 1. Set the program to 1, the LSB to 0, and the MSB to 0. On pad 6, set the type to program change, the MIDI channel to 1, program to 21, LSB to 0, MSB to 0. On pad 7, change the pad to CC momentary, channel 1, the CC to 42, press to 127 and release 0. On pad 8, type CC momentary, channel 1, CC 43, press 127, release 0. Now click on the faders tab. Make sure the first four faders are set to channel 1. And the second set of faders, that's faders 5 to 8, are set to channel 2. Click on the touch ribbon tab. Change the touch ribbon settings release mode to return. Bank 1 type to CC. And CC number 100. On bank 2, change the type to pitch bend. And set the MIDI channel to channel 2 and the CC to 101. On bank 3, set the type to CC, the MIDI channel to 1 and the CC number to 102. Click on the Tilt tab. Make sure the type is CC, the MIDI channel is 1 and the CC number is 91. Then click on the Program Change Keybed tab and change the Send On Load to No. In Cubase I'm creating an empty project. The first thing I need to do is go to Studio, Studio Setup, down here to MIDI where it says MIDI port setup. Now you should see in the MIDI port setup the Vortex Wireless 2. Go to the end of the line with the Vortex 2 in it and make sure you remove the X in the All MIDI column. Next, click on the plus sign and then select Generic Remote. If you've connected your Vortex already, click on the MIDI input and you should be able to select the Vortex Wireless 2. 
tick the box next to learn and with the fader 1 selected on the vortex move the fader 1 up and down now click on fader 2 and then move the fader 2 on the vortex up and down and do the same with the rest of the faders now click on fader 9 and double click on the name and change the name to pad 1 now press pad 1 on the vortex change the name of fader 10 to pad 2 and press on pad 2 and continue until you've done all eight pads. Next, change pan one to tilt. Turn the tilt on on your vortex and move your vortex up and down. In the address column, you should see the number 91 now. Rename pan two to ribbon one. Then slide your finger up and down the ribbon while ribbon 1 is selected. Select pad 2 and do the same with ribbon 3. Now click on OK. If you've connected a synthesizer or a keyboard to your computer, go back to Studio, Studio Setup and click on the MIDI port setup and check to see that your synthesizer is now shown. In the input output channel section, right mouse click and select add MIDI track. And name the MIDI track so it references your synthesizer or keyboard. In the inspector, change the input to Vortex Wireless 2 and the output to your synthesizer or keyboard. Then change the channels to any. Next, right mouse click and add an audio track. Open the loops and samples. and add a drum sample. Then drag the drum sample Next, add an instrument track Add an instrument to slot 1 and slot 2 In the inspector for the instrument track, make sure that the input is set to Vortex Wireless 2 and change the channel to any. Now add a second instrument track and add an instrument to the first eight tracks. Select the MIDI tab and change the channel for the first four slots to channel 1. And change slots 5 to 8 to channel 2.
select the MIDI track, hold down the Command or Windows key and select the two instrument tracks. Right mouse click and select Add Track and then select FX Channel to Selected Channels. Add an effect. Add a name. And then add the track. Do the same again and set up a second FX channel. Now go back up and click on Studio and Studio Setup. Click on Generic Remote. In the bottom section, highlight Fader 1. Make sure the device is set to VST Mixer. Then click on the Channel category. Select Instrument 2. In the Value Action section, Scroll down to the bottom and select slot 1, S1 volume. Select fader 2, make sure its device is set to VST mixer. Change the channel category to instrument 2, change the value to slot 2, S2 volume. Now change the rest of the faders so that fader 3 will be slot 3 volume, fader 4 is slot 4 volume, fader 5 is slot 5 volume, fader 6 is slot 6 volume, fader 7 is slot 7 volume and fader 8 is slot 8 volume. Select Pad 1 and change the device to MIDI Mixer, the channel to the MIDI track and the value to Selected. For Pad 2, make sure the device is the VST Mixer, the channel is Instrument 1. and the value is selected. Pad 3, make sure the device is VST Mixer. Change the channel to Instrument 2. And change the value to Selected. For Pad 1, 2 and 3, change the flag to Push Button. Select Pad 7, change the device to Command and the channel to Transport. Change the value to Start
select pad 8, change the device to command, the channel to transport, and the value to stop. Select the tilt, make sure the device is VST mixer, the channel is the first of the FX channels. And set the value to ints1 and in this case distortion. Mix. And for ribbon 1 make sure the device is VST mixer. Select the second FX channel. And then the value, in this case it's ints1 ping pong delay, and mix. Now click on OK. In the first instrument track, I've set up two sounds. One for the upper zone, and one for the lower zone. Pressing pad 2 selects instrument track 1. Playing the upper zone plays the sound in slot 1. Playing the lower zone plays the sound in slot 2. In the second instrument track I've set up 8 sounds. 4 for the upper zone and 4 for the lower zone. You can play all 4 sounds at the same time or by using the faders you can change it so you only play one sound or two sounds or three instead. Pressing pad 3 selects instrument track 2. Playing upper zone or lower zone plays only slots 1 to 4 because the channel is set to 1. So the channel needs to be set to any. Now playing the upper zone plays the sounds in slots 1 to 4. Playing the lower zone plays the slots in slots 5 to 8. Select the Mix tab and move the faders and you can see the volume level for the sound in the different slots move up and down. For the MIDI track I've set up two pads to send program change commands to the synthesizer. Pressing pad 1 selects the MIDI track. Pressing pad 5 changes the sound on the connected synth or sound module. Pressing pad 6 changes the sound on a connected synth or sound module to a different sound. Pressing pad 7 starts the playback of the tracks. Pressing pad 8 stops the playback. Pressing pad 8 a second time sets the start line back to where it started. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.